Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. We are here with another video and today's video is about adaptations in hydrophytes. Hydrophytes are plants that live in water. The water can be fresh water, saline or marshy areas water. On the basis of distribution of hydrophytes in water, hydrophytes can be free floating we have an example of Lamna, Salvinia, Ezola, Pistia, and Wolfia. They are found floating on the surface of water. Then there are some hydrophytes which are partly submerged in water. We have an example of water lily which is known as Nymphia. So Nymphia leaves are on the surface of the water but remaining body is inside water like roots and petiole these are inside water then there are some hydrophytes which are completely submerged in water we have an example of hydrilla valisneria utricularia cara and ceratophyllum now let's talk about the morphology of hydrophytes so basically hydrophytes, first we're going to discuss about the stem and petiole. So basically the stem is long and slender and also petiole in some cases is long like Marsilia. It has a long slender petiole. Whereas in Acarnia, the petiole is swollen. You can see the swollen petiole. These are the morphological adaptations of hydrophytes. Let's discuss the roots of hydrophytes. So basically the root system is not very well developed in hydrophytes. In the free floating plants the roots are fibrous and in some cases roots are spongy. Examples we have of Jessia repens. No root hairs and no root cap. Leaves are broad floating on the surface of the water, having large, having a cuticle um, which is very thin or in some cases there is no cuticle because cuticle prevents the evaporation of water and in hydrophytes water has to be evaporated. Leaves are deeply dissected for the absorption of sunlight. Stomata are found on the upper epidermis as you can see here on the upper epidermis, stomata are found, stomata are open, more on the upper epidermis. In submerged leaves, no stomata is found. And the free floating plants, leaves, stomata are found on the upper epidermis. Stomata is used for gaseous exchange and for the loss of enough water. Vascular bundles are reduced. In hydrophytes, as you can see, here an example of hydrilla stem, xylem is found in the center and phloem outside. Vascular bundles are not really uh, well developed. Chloroplast in case of hydrophytes is very sensitive and they are numerous. One of the very great characteristics of hydrophytes is the presence of arenchyma tissues. These arenchyma tissues are present in the roots, stems and leaves. So called air sacs or air chambers, they are filled with air and they produce this buoyancy so that the leaves or plants can float on the surface of the water. You can see here, these are the iron karma tissues or you can call it air sacs filled with air. They help the hydrophytes to float on the surface of the water. Flowers on the surface are very conspicuous prominent, beautifully colored and they are the, they actually allow pollination. So flowers are the organs of pollination in hydrophytes. These are some of the adaptations of hydrophytes. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot about hydrophytes. Inshallah, we're going to meet with another video about another kind of plants. Till then, take care.